Welcome back to our next part of this Untamed screencast tutorial on Twitter Bootstrap and how to create a great looking, easy to use, responsive splash page in just a few minutes using this incredible framework. So let's next just finish up our page by integrating our footer and then taking a look at what we've made. So as you can see here, we have our container and we are so we've had our container here and then in the bottom we are ending it so we'll stay within this and we will create a horizontal row this is sometimes just nice and you'll often see it in my posts that I use horizontal rows to just move content away from each other and show difference and this is a really good practice for something like a footer if you're not going to style the text maybe in any particular way so give that horizontal row then we'll have a footer In the footer, we don't even really have to worry about giving it a class since it's the last item on our document and we are planning for it to take up the full width of the area that it is in, which is, of course, the bottom of the document. So let's add a little bit of paragraph text to this. To do that, we have added our copyright symbol, then the company name, and the year that it has um, been copyrighted in. And that is our footer. So let's take a look at what it looks like whenever we actually go in and refresh our browser. And we'll give this a refresh. And as you can see here, we do have a horizontal row. Let me take this and make it a little bit bigger. A horizontal row with our copyright symbol, Untamed, and 2012. So here's what we've made. We have an incredible site with our brand that could be an image just depending on what you like or what you want for your specific site needs we have our navigation section as well as our right side pulled navigation we have our really nice and easy to use content slider our call to action section with its call to action button that has been um, it's a really nice green color so it's easy to get a readers um, attention then we have our equal three columns with their corresponding buttons and headings that stand out. So that is how to make a really well working splash page in very little time using the Twitter bootstrap framework. I would encourage you to use this framework and to just jump in and to customize some of the CSS and change around the colors. You're going to find that it's incredibly flexible and a lot of fun to use. So. For the last bit, I want to show you how this is all made responsive and just works together on any device. So as you can see here, we move from a large desktop environment down to maybe a smaller desktop environment, but it still uses a lot of the same layout. Then we'll move down to our tablet environment, and we can see that our responsive navigation still works quite well, and everything is staying in its proper space and then on down to phone layouts. So we still have our next call to action statement, the next call to action button, and everything has folded in into its correct placement. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this screencast. I certainly have enjoyed producing it for you. Stay tuned for what's next from Untamed.